women fed a great many things on the coattails of a myriad of evenings. The main objective of these perspectives is to explain who we are. Our surroundings release this resounding sound, take a moment to ponder, it's quite astounding. The choir rings, product of one's environment, yet another subliminal sermon, the misplaced so zealous for conversion, longing simply to belong. A generation of flightless birds, condors that have not yet left the nest. On the sidelines, afraid to call next, but what lays dormant inside their chest would antiquate all the rest. Greatness. If only, if only, the cry of his soul, the gospel that's written on the walls of his home. Don't aim high, simply shoot low, failure begins to take its toll. What magnificent condolences, the words of his drunken father cut him like a knife. Wounded he limps through life, purpose and significance are like second cousins twice removed. His perspective of the future has been violently bruised, so he sits like a parasite attached to the satellite shrine, like a bug to a light desperate to find something, anything. A much needed family reunion, blind, unaware that his kin is abusive. He cracks his piggy bank, it's not much but more than he knows and buys far more than some clothes. He has no identity. At least not one he wants to own or believe in, because greatness is gnawing at his stomach. So he privately administers an elixir and focuses on the burn in his throat rather than the crater in his soul. Soul. These rappers might as well be auctioneers. How skillfully they sell, casting spell upon spell and leaving the lost in shell shock. Mirrors have become the worst fear of many of my peers. Self-recognition is all but lost. You see, we can't see that who we are is not subject to what they say. That clothes, cars, power, and money are not fountains of identity. Yet they're sipped over and over again until one drowning in sorrow buys a lie that he is only as good as what he buys. Rewind. Back to the years of childish wonder when he thought he stood a chance. When he was a person and not just a prop of his environment. The years have stolen a few failed marriages later and that crater only seems to have swollen. He stares looking down the bottle as if it was the rabbit hole of Alice and quietly whispers, who am I? Now the question posed goes way deeper than an hombre hombre, a man lost inside himself, held captive by failed attempts at wealth, only to find that inside that cage was bitterness, oppression, and rage. But man, how he lived it up in his youth, dropped out of school to play cool. Every paycheck was an opportunity for new shoes. He thought, in these J's, I can reach that moon. Spoon-fed this false identity, which dented his inner person immensely and left him shipwrecked on the aisles of a wasted life, now singing sorrows in the twilight or night. Call him John Doe. Call him someone you probably know. Matter of fact, call him we. Because without him, that's what we'd be. Some more lost souls on the precipice of death, alone, with no identity.